Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, this is Reza, and today we're going to uh, uh, show, and I'm going to show my project. And my project was to uh, use the analog clock reader using MATLAB. So uh, let's start the project. So uh, in this project and this presentation, actually, I tried to cover some contents, uh, including four contents, basic contents, which are like introduction and application, then project details, then the result, and in the end, the conclusion. So uh, and, uh, let's start part one and uh, let's uh, start the introduction. So uh, as uh, we are starting uh, here and we are uh, working on uh, analog clock uh, detection, so uh, the project is regarding to time. So telling time is a task like no one thinks much of, like people learn it at a fairly age and then it becomes a second nature to us actually. Then uh, like, uh, take Everyone can understand that what time is, but when we were like at young age and we didn't know how to read the clock, like it was something like a garbage uh, information to us. So how we understand to learn the time? So what we did, we uh, look at the uh, clock, then we identify the shortest hand, then we check the number after it, and that's the hour. And then we identify the long hand, then it's uh, the near to the time the number and that is the hour uh, minute and the longest clean hand multiply the number it points to five that's the current number of second so actually the purpose uh, of my project is to uh, extraction of time from a given image of a clock using penny edge detection algorithm and half transformation and the main aim was to isolate the actual clock from the rest of the image like I and identify the clock hands and calculate the time according to their angles. So uh, this one and uh, this neural network, like this project and this uh, uh, work, can give the computer enhance its human-like ability. Like we all know that computers can think like humans, so we can just enhance its ability to think like us. So uh, let's talk about the approach and the method of this program uh, and this project. So the approach taken in this project was to just isolate the actual clock from the rest of the image, then identify the clock hands and calculate the time according to their angles. The method of doing this uh, this uh, consists of six uh, specific uh, steps, which are isolating the clock from the rest of the image, then apply the edge detection to the image, then use the half transformation to isolate the watch hands, then calculate the line of angles, and then filter out the irrelevant image and compute the times. So as uh, we talked about half transformation, uh, we know we uh, already know about what pops and transformation. And here uh, in this picture, we can see uh, how we're going to do this. So first from the picture, we'll detect the clock. So let's go to the next place and the procedure. And this uh, procedure uh, consists of like four uh, steps, which is first we will, um, step one, will read the image. Then on step two, we'll process the data using the function in the program. And on the third step, we will calculate the process using the function in the program. And the last and the fourth or the last step, uh, we will just show the result to the user. <coughs> so uh, let's, uh, talk about uh, part two and which is project details uh, including results and clips so uh in the beginning of this let's talk about the algorithm i used in this program so uh like all other programs first we have to start the program then we will read the image into the function then we will go for isolate the clock from the rest of the image then we will apply the edge detection to the image then we will use the half transformation to isolate the watch hands. Then we'll go to calculate the line angles, line of the angles. Then we will filter out irrelevant lines and then we'll compute the time. In the end, we will show the result to the user and that will be the end of our program. So here's a picture uh, like half transformation we studied today where we can just uh, see the suspected line of positions. Now, uh, this is the uh, function I have used uh, in this pro project and in my program for some specific uh, purpose. 
for reading the image, for converting the image to gray, then getting the half lines, and then in, then closer to the center. Uh, if I talk about getting closer to the center, because this is analog clock, and we're going to calculate the angle of the watch hand, so we have to figure out the center first, because that is the most crucial thing. Because if the center is not uh, checked, like uh, mentioned, or uh, get it rightly properly, then with the angle of the hands might be wrong, can be wrong, and the, in the result we can get a wrong answer or wrong result from the program. So uh, let's go for the pictures I have used. So this is uh, an original image. So the program, what we will do, we'll read the image first. Then in the next step, we'll try to the edge detection. In this case, we'll convert into gray and go for the edge detection. And as you can see, this is the Sobel edge detector. Then this is the sterile edge detection. And here, <coughs> sorry for that. And here, this is the image boundaries. Like if uh, we calculate the image, we can isolate the clock from the rest of the image. So in this uh, picture, we, I just isolate the clock from the rest of the image. So next, uh, this is the center I try to detect. In this case, it's very uh, near to the center, actual center. So let's, uh, for two here, uh, we use the half uh, lines and center detected and as we can see in the beginning it will detect so many lines which is like not related to the uh, photos or not related to calculate the proper time. So what we will do in next step uh, we will just uh, check the length and we'll just try to I uh, isolate the uh, irrelevant lines from the pictures and the end will get the result. As you can see, in real-time image, the clock was showing 157 approximately, and the result is also showing uh, probably 157.856. So uh, this is the main method and the approach of the project. So uh, now let's talk about part three, which are the results of this project. So uh, actually the uh, result, like the approach of the problem was very clear to me. I discovered that there were many tricky issues that needed to be overcome while working on the system, like in, including partial success. After testing the system on around 20 images, like I can estimate that my system has success rate of 75 to 80%. Like since I was unable to deal with such broad range of image, I had to reduce the spectrum of the image I could accept by making assumption of valid input as I described in that direction. Uh, regarding the last issue, since the difference in clock hands lens and sometimes extremely small, incorrect labeling can occur due to similar, similar hand lens and incorrect identification of actual line by the half transfer, line transformation, resulting in a line that's too long or too short. While my program works correctly uh, on this image from most stage, during the last stage, the difference results in some hands detected as other hands are different time displayed. So uh, this was uh, one of the uh, limited like things. So there were a few approaches that could be taken to deal with the last problem. One of the ones to fine tune the actual line length by traversing each one and swimming the pixel values. the scale in one direction and another option was to check the line white assuming the most cases that the second hand is thinner than the minute hand we could be able to determine which is which and that is the approach I took and it has managed to eliminate number of incorrect decisions by the program so here are some <laughs> pictures and here are some figures I used and uh, I've shown some real time and detected time so as you can see, the detected time and the real time is very near and uh, like uh, there's a difference between very similar and we can see some problem in number five, which is the real time is 10, 10, uh, 10 11, but uh, the uh, time detected was 2, 10. And as I said because it before, because the uh, white of the uh, edge uh, are and the watch hands are like a little bit similar. So the program got confused about this uh, picture.
So uh, the answer was not correct. So here are some more pictures and in H9 uh, we can see the same problem that not correct. So uh, in this uh, PPT on uh, picture figure number 11, there is one problem also that if there are multiple uh, images in one, uh, multiple clocks in one image, the <coughs> sorry, the clock, uh, the program will detect uh, probably one, but which will be not correct because of the other problem. This is one of my limitations, the limitation of this problem. And here, as you can see, if the uh, line wide, the hands wide are same, and the result will be incorrect. <laughs> so here uh, on uh, picture 18, the result is almost correct and this problem is happened with like one minute difference because of the edge detection, like the center detection. And if the center is detected wrong, the uh, program will calculate the angles wrong. So there will be a different or there will be uh, problems calculating the exact angle so in this case that happened and that is why the time is almost correct like nearly correct but it is actually you can say wrong and for 19 it can't read because uh, I'm having some limitations in my program uh, which uh, I'll discuss uh, uh, ahead so let's go and check So here's the video clip I uh, used uh, in the program. Let's see the video clips for a while. Here I'm running the main program in MATLAB. So while running, I'm just determining the picture by its name. So just start with number one and run the program. <laughs> As we can see, the program ran very well and it is showing all the results. Here we can see the top line with center detected and closer center. So let's check it with another picture and let's see what it says. <coughs> so in this case, the clock is showing the time program is showing the time and here is the pictures you can see the original image and the edge detection and then setting the boundaries and here like we can see like clock lines with center detected and close the center and final arrows with uh, like marching detected So let's move to the next slide and uh, let's talk about the limitations of uh, uh, my project. So the limitations like when the clock hand is identified as too long and occasionally it will march that will uh, alter parameter of the clock. And in this case, like summing pixel values would still result in an incorrect result since relevant black pixels value uh, from the outer clock parameter would also be summed as well. Like in most clocks, the second um, and the minute hands are very close to the length. Uh, yet have different widths, like taking account that the line identification may have overshot, we can calculate the middle pixel of each line, far away from the back pixels actually, uh, create a local matrix of pixel and sum their values. 
So some tricky issues can actually during this test are from variety of reasons, including bad lighting, like non-uniform clock background, cluttered clock area, clock hands of the same length, and multiple clock in one image, etc. In this kind of situation, the program can determine the correct angle of the clock hands, and as a result, the program can extract the time correctly, or maybe uh, the program can read the image correctly. So here, here's a picture like uh, where the problem is the background is not uniform and cluttered, the area is cluttered. So that is why the program couldn't detect proper line and the uh, edges. So uh, in the result, the program couldn't read the uh, clock and can't extract the time properly. So uh, let's go to part four and which is conclusion and from this project uh, I understood that my like that this computer version there are no easy solution for anything like each problem must have a specifically designed solution based on trial and error using different approaches and combining different methods in my program I have to apply a multi-stage solution for analog clock identification like my goal was to correctly identify uh, define all stage of identification and reach a working implementation which has an acceptable success rate and can be applied to many image variations i feel that i managed to correctly identify the stage needed to solve the problem regarding the implementation my program has uh, had identical results with a wide variety of pictures regardless of clock background style color and shape and uh, for my success rate overall is acceptable i think and most failure occur during the final stage and i have yet to find out foolproof way to classifying clock hands i feel that i have learned a lot and gained valuable experience during this project and have managed to implement some of the computer version theory vision theory studied in class uh, looking forward and future improvement uh, this of this project, I think that the following steps can greatly increase the success rate by improving the line detection algorithm to detect lines accurately under various background and correctly classify them, improve the circle detection algorithm to work on non-uniform background and under different lighting by pre-processing the image to cancel them out and possibly Epigram and classify using training set of clock image. Further improvement of the GUI or graphical user interface to allow webcam capture of image directly from the program and explore other alternative or additional method of time recognition. So, uh, this was sorry, this was the reference uh, I took uh, while uh, doing my project, and that really helped me a lot actually to uh, complete my project so uh, that's all for uh, that's uh, well and that's all for today and thank you very much for your patience and for uh, giving the time to see my project and thank you so much and one more thing please this in this situation this covid situation please stay home stay safe and follow the rules and regulations uh, told by the who and your local government and once again stay home stay safe we'll protect the world by staying home and we'll be together very soon thank you very much thank you all